Dude, Dylan Dennis. What a man. What an absolute ant of a guy. Like, why? Dude, what a prick. I was going to make a prediction video for that as well. It was coming up soon. F***ing Dylan Dennis, dude. Check his Twitter. Oh, God. Here we go. Da -da. Da -da. Fake news. Nah. I don't know then, but apparently there's a new fight signed. So that's that. So they've moved on, I guess, but he's saying fake news. So apparently, according to Dylan Dennis, he ain't out of the fight, but the management and Dana Wyatt have already scheduled the next fucking fight. So I don't get it. Fuck Rockhold, dude. I'm not trying to listen to Rockhold returning like... He should just quit, dude. Rockhold is just obsessed with the attention of being a fighter. Like, he needs to give it up, mate. Thank you for the five dollars. Uh, four pound forty nine. Spiceless. Uh, do you think? Did you think Paddy could make it to the rankings after watching any of his UFC fights? He looks awful in every fight till he gets to finish. Askren esque, but Askren looked dominant before getting a finish on a lot of fights. Like he did dominate the fights. It's not Askren esque because Pimlet has no ability to actually like offensively get the fight to the ground. So he's worse than Askren by far. Don't disrespect Askren, bro. That Askren was a legit world champion at one point with like great offensive wrestling. But yeah, fact is, Pimlet is trash. He ain't going to make it to the rankings unless here's the only way he beats Ferguson and they give him number 15, which they could do. Like they could do that. Because Jared Gordon was like number twenty three or something. So if he beats if he beats Ferguson, they could put him at number fifteen. But he ain't beating no one ranked. I don't think. Thank you for the two dollars, Dove. Luke should fight Weidman again. That'd be fun. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. To be fair, I wouldn't mind a Luke Rockhold Weidman rematch. But I don't think Rockhold's coming back to tarnish legacy if he can avoid it. Yeah, you know I mean, like he's gonna want to get a fresh win against a decent opponent. But to be honest with you, I think Rockhold just looks at these other middleweights and thinks, man, they're shit at fighting. I'd love to fight one of them. You know? Probably. Thank you for the membership for 15 months. Anthony Rivera, Medina, longtime supporter. How do you think each MMA promotion would fare in these versus matchups like the Bellator event last weekend? Keep up the great work, bro. Um, I saw John McCarthy and Josh Thompson saying, go on, UFC, do it. What's your, what are you so scared of? Basically, about the Bellator crossover. Bellator's whole roster gets smoked by the UFC, top to bottom, smoked. Only thing right now is that we don't have a light heavyweight champion and Nemkov's pretty good. That's it. Other than that, the rest of them just get smoked. It's not even a question. So um, one FC would have a chance, but Bellator ain't in the mix. And they shouldn't be doing these crossover things between uh, things like that. Not all at once. It's just like a tacky... It, I, I think it makes it look bad. Like, I appreciate it with Ryzen and Bellator. I get that. But um, I think it would look tacky if they did a whole card of champion, champion. It'd just be too much all at once. So I don't think it would even look good on the UFC. Maybe, like, if there's a dominant champ in one division and a dominant champ in another division, they could do, like, a one-division crossover. But not the whole card like of, of champions. That just looks bad. Well, thank you very much for the £4.49 Bon Clodger. What can Paddy improve on to have a chance or can he even manage that? He needs offensive grappling. He needs really good offensive grappling is what he needs to focus on right now. The main thing in his career that he needs is like a solid offensive grappling ability. Otherwise, he'll never make it anywhere, mate. Thank you for the $2 HT. Percentage chance of Whitaker or Colby versus Hamza in 2023. Percentage chance of Whitaker or Colby versus Hamza in 2023. I don't even know. Um, Colby is a higher percentage because he's. I think they're going to focus on him at 170. But that's about it, probably. Thank you for the $2. I don't think you'll fight Whitaker. 
even if it's something that's offered. Uh, Hamza seems to go quiet when people actually want to fight him. He seems to really have a thing for people that don't want to fight him. You know what I mean? Thank you very much for the five dollars, Anthony Rivera Medina. I appreciate you massively, good sir. I think Bellator and PFL would be competitive, to be honest. And I think one would smoke Bellator. Yeah, Bellator PFL would be competitive. One would smoke Bellator, and I feel like Ryzen would probably be last. Yeah, Ryzen is like a LFA Cage Warriors, right? I think it is. Like they they act like they're like another major thing, but just because you're not a feeder organization to the UFC doesn't mean you're a big dog. You know what I mean? They just sell out because they do regional fights in Japan, pretty much. You know? like They're like cage warriors in the UK to me, rising. But they just don't send all their people over. Thank you for the $5 hustling with D. Uh, Connor discussing Brexit with Brendan Schaub. Um, the, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think you guys should have stayed in the EU. Do something about it. That's all I got for McGregor is do something about it, to be honest with you. Um, could Adesanya beat Pereira in a rematch? Or will he always lose to him and his massive ego prevent him from accepting the reality he took the L so bad? Um, he could beat him in a rematch. Yeah, he has a chance to beat him in a rematch. 100% he does. Did you not watch this third fight? Yeah, he definitely has a chance to beat him in a rematch. But... All of the factors that made you want to pick Pereira in the third fight that just happened are now amplified for this next one. Because it was like, oh, mentally, is Adesanya going to be the same fighting a guy he's lost to? And all that type of stuff. Well, is that, that was like years ago for him. So he probably didn't even care about it. But now it's going to be fresh in his brain. Like, fuck, I can't make a mistake. I can't make a mistake. I can't make a mistake. Whereas Adesanya's best when he's... um a lot more loosey goosey and like doing whatever he wants and flowing, you know? Sorry. Thank you for the $45 Mantis cyber X versus one unit. I really appreciate that dude. Thank you so much for the $45 dude. I really, really appreciate that man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the five pounds. Jace. I appreciate your five pounds. Good, sir. Think Adesanya is battling breast cancer. No, he didn't keep mentioning Chadwick Boseman. He mentioned it once in interviews when people bring up his guy no, but said no to Ariel. Dude, I'm telling you this right now. He's not battling breast cancer while making weight cuts and training at the elite level of MMA and competing in MMA fights where he's getting concussed and beaten up. Like, do not buy that at all if that's something that he's going to be saying. Because it's so like it's not something you just oh, tough it out. Like, first of all, he'd lost, he would definitely be doing chemo right now. So he'd be bald, which he isn't. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know why he said that, but it was a very bad look for him to say that. But he didn't directly compare himself. He just said, you never really know what's really going on. Thank you for the $45, dude. Appreciate you. What do you think of the potential grappling match between GSP and Habib? I don't know. I don't know. GSP and Habib. It'll be a good it'll be a good thing. I reckon in a sustained grappling match, Habib would win it if he prepared hard for it, you know. I think GSP would like win a couple scrambles early, but then as the as the uh, grappling match went on, Habib would establish control and sort of take over. You know? Did you see people on Twitter saying Poirier would make Leon shoot for the legs, Lamafeo? This Poirier's cock munchers doesn't understand Leon's six foot two and a Dutch kickboxing is his bread and butter true. I think he would chew up the legs of Poirier pretty easily at range. And just play it safe. Cover up. Head movement. Distance control. Chop the legs of uh, Leon Edwards pretty well. and Chop the legs of Poirier pretty easily. But yeah, he, he could shoot a takedown and get him down. He would easily do it. But it'd be an interesting fight. Thank you for the £4.49 UFC Guardian. How far does Jelton Almeida go and does Simone beat Umar? I reckon Simone would beat Umar. I'd actually pick him as an underdog there as well. If Umar Namagomedov beat Simone at this point, as young as he is, I'd be very surprised. So I might actually side with Simone there in that matchup. But when it comes to... Um, what was the other thing you said? 
Chilton Almeida. I reckon he'll get to the top 10 and then someone actually kind of good will beat him and reverse his position and stop the takedowns and stuff like that. Any fighters you see having a big fall off this year? No. Um, Usman, maybe. I don't see Usman winning again, dude. With his broken hand again, it's very risky for him to, to expect him to be able to bounce back and get right back on top of the game, you know? Because he's just got so much against him at the moment with the with the broken hand. He's going to be more inactive than whoever wins in the Edwards versus whoever bout. You know what I mean? It's just it's tough. Anyway, thoughts on Covington versus Leon. Either winner should be a big fight for Usman's return and could be the reason Colby is quiet about Hamza. I think Colby's in consideration the Leon Edwards fight. I'd love to see that in the UK. That'd be a great main event. So, yeah, I think that should be the thing that happens. Covington, Edwards, pay-per-view, March, June, July. Uh, oh, Chimeyev, Bilal Mohamed, March. June, July, winner of Covington Edwards versus the winner of Chimay of Mohammed. And then Usman comes back in like November or something like that. Keep him active at welterweight this year. Thank you for the two Australian dollars, Ollie Lucas. Big blabber boy, tub tub fatty. Uh, thanks for that, dude. Really appreciate you. Thank you for the $5, Carlos Lemus. Do you think Jones' early title wins were a bit overrated? I feel like most of the big names on his resume were against big middleweights. Um... Yeah. Like, although they're good names, for Jones in his frame at the time, you can understand why he be beat them because they were just like, Shogun is still an old fucking guy. You know what I mean? Like, and he was back then, it seemed. I know they had some good performances, but all of them were about 6 1. You know? And yeah, a lot of Jones' resume were middleweights a lot of the time, fighting at light heavyweight just for the easier road to the title, pretty much. Or just more money fights in that division, you know? Thank you for the $5, Carlos Lemus. Thank you for the seven months of membership, John Costa. Here's to a big 2023 for everyone's favorite rabbi. Thank you. I appreciate that, but I'm not a rabbi. And I'll say that one last time. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the five pounds. I appreciate you, Jamie Edwards. Arnold Allen reacting to Dana slapping his wife impression. Um. Yeah, you know, Um. yeah. Yeah, it was a laugh, wasn't it? It was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. How does Islam Makashev do it well to wait? I don't know. We'd have to. I'd have to wait and see. I want to see what kind of build he'd have in that division, if he could keep up the same pace. I imagine people wouldn't be as scared of his grappling, and they would be able to just finish him on the feet a little bit better. So he could do good, but I could also see people surviving easier and having way more opportunities on the feet. Free dono. Thank you for the two dollars, Leaf Cats uh, 07. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you for the two pounds, Jamie Edwards. Do you see Charles ever getting a belt again? No, I don't ever see it happening again. No. Thank you for the two pounds, though, dude. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. You would see Helwani slapped around and crying. True. True. Like realistically, how does Ariel react to um getting slapped by his wife? Honey, I'm. I'm sorry. What the heck? I didn't mean it. You know I didn't mean it. What have I done? Anything I've done, I'm sorry. It's probably how he would react to that. I'm not saying you should slap her. You shouldn't slap a woman. But, like, they're both drunk. She slapped him hard as fuck. Like, in the moment he acted the way he did, it was bad. But you can't come down on him like a woman beater. You know what I mean? You just get wrist control. Thank you for the $5. You're very entertaining. Your mannerisms are super cute. Whitaker or... Col okay, I don't say cute. Thank you for the $5, though. Whitaker or Colby, who wins? Come to the USA, by the way. Um, Whitaker or Colby, who wins? Come to the USA, by the way. I'm not coming to the USA anytime soon. But Whitaker or Colby, who wins? Whitaker would fucking... Let me just put a poll up, you know what I mean? And we'll see what the fucking chat thinks about that fucking matchup. Let's let the chat tell you what's going to happen in that matchup. And be real, chat, so we can see the, the, the real one. You know what I mean? How? Okay, there you go. 
And I was going to say, how dare you make that shit 70%? That's Whitaker all day long. Whitaker, he's, that's one of his easiest matchups. You got to have some level of power to beat Whitaker, dude. You got to have some level of power. Come on. At what weight class? Midweight, of course. Whitaker can't make well to weight. Thank you for the two pounds. I right. Whitaker versus Yuri. Um, Yuri wins that, dude. Yuri is too dangerous, and he would catch him. And he has takedown defense as well, and submission defense. So yeah, Yuri would win that. All right, I'm gonna go. See you later. Thank you for tuning in. Check out the video on the channel right now. Um, it's a very good video, and you'll very much, very much enjoy it. I'm sure. So go check it out. It's a good one. Um, it's every. Um, I don't even know. Uh, who will be UFC champion at the end of 2023? It's my prediction video for it. Go check it out. Oh fuck's sake. Sorry, this cunt has fucking joined. Thank you for the five euros, Tommy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for the money, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm from Spain, and I'd love to see new Spanish blood this year in the UFC. Could be Danny Barez. Barez was good, yeah, on the Contender Series. Cordero, Christian Capella, Alex Tapuria. Do you know any? I know Barez and Alex Tapuria, Ilya Tapuria's brother, but I'm not sure about the rest of them. Sorry, dude. Thank you for the five euros, though. I appreciate your five euros. Spain doesn't have many MMA fighters. It's not really a big sport in Spain, is it? It's all about the football. Um, but thank you very much for the five euros. Uh, everyone go check out the video on the channel. Non-members check out the video on the channel. Members go to the community tab. I'm going to go live with the members right now. Toodle pip. See you later. Goodbye. Members community tab. Non-members check out the video on the channel right now.